You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, yesterday on the Sports Wars live stream, we did our pits. And when it came to the Vikings and the Packers, the game was in Green Bay. I actually pit the Vikings to put the Packers out of the misery. Now, the Packers, they have not looked good this season for the most part. Now, they have been coming on late and uh, they actually look pretty good. Last night, folks, it was a complete wipeout. That game was over in the first half and the Minnesota Vikings did not show up in the first half. I believe they were down like 28, three, something like that um, at halftime. And I'm pretty sure they were extremely frustrated. This was the second notable beatdown that they have actually had. Now, my Dallas Cowboys smote them. Really, really smote them. That was embarrassing. And then last night in Green Bay, they got embarrassed again. However, Justin Jefferson, Vikings wide receiver, got so frustrated, not in the fourth quarter, in the second quarter, because the game was over in the second quarter, folks. He actually hit a referee in the back. Check this out. Vikings, Justin Jefferson hits ref in the back with helmet during frustrating loss. And I'm pretty sure that the NFL is probably going to look at this. And uh, I would not be surprised if uh, Justin Jefferson actually got suspended. Because when it comes to referees, you cannot do that. Um, it says here, the Packers got the better of Justin Jefferson on Sunday and Jefferson's own emotions got the better of him as well. With six minutes left in the second quarter, Vikings QB Kirk Cousins uh, tossed his second pick of the game to Green Bay's Adrian Amos. As Amos was getting corralled out of bounds, Jefferson tore off his helmet and swung it. The face mask caught the official in the shoulder and Jefferson's forearm hit him in the back. And we actually do have uh, the uh, video right here. So let's go ahead and uh, and look at um, the clip here. There's a little frustration here. Is it right there? Watch oh, Jefferson and then takes Jefferson off his helmet. So mad. Oh, got him. Elbow right to the back of the ref. He did not like that one. Watch accidental. Ooh, that's a good thing he put on the brakes. He's a good thing he wasn't looking at him. Yeah. yeah, I don't. He was so frustrated. I believe he kind of caught himself, but still, he still made contact with an official. Um, it says the referee did not appear harm. It definitely could have been worse. Had Jefferson hit the official with the crown of the helmet a few inches above the shoulder, we could uh, be having a very different discussion right now. Thankfully, that did not happen. Uh, Jefferson uh, had cause to be uh, frustrated, even though his a manner of um, expressing it was wrong. The star receiver amassed only 15 yards on one reception after totaling 284 yards on nine catches the first time the Vikings played the Packers. So there you have it, guys. Justin Jefferson, very, very frustrated. Kirk Cousins, an absolute disaster in this game. And um, the Packers actually do have life. They still, I believe, need some help. Even with that win, they're eight and eight. They're still not in the uh, playoff pitcher right now. If I if I'm not mistaken, they're not locked into any spot right now, but um, they can control their control their own destiny, um, if I'm not mistaken. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of Justin Jefferson hitting an official in the back with his helmet? I know he was frustrated. He caught himself. Just imagine if he did not catch himself. It's possible, you know, he could probably could have hit that official in the head, maybe. And the officials, they don't wear any type of protection. It could have been a whole lot worse. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.